Yo, hit the sub, hit the bell, let's get into it. So today I'm gonna to be doing a fragrance review on, this is an old one. I think this one came out. Oh, it ain't been that long. I thought this had been around for a while. So maybe it's light blue that I'm thinking about. I know light blue been around for a while and it may have just came out with the intense a few years ago. I thought this had been around for a minute. Dolce Gabbana, light blue, intense. As you can see, this is one of my <laughs> favorite this is one of my favorite favorite blues i wear this all year round because i do not care i love this cologne presentation if i had a full bottle it would be a lot better but you got that frosted you got that frosted glass that you know that that typical the typical shape that they have for most of the dolce uh men's collection which i like um kind of got like this little dome sort of cap you'll probably see it better back here man listen got your little atomizer here this is a 3.4 3.3 sorry about that 3.3 ounce oh, love this yo I can't stand by this scent enough I always always tell fellas get this scent get it get it get it get it get it so far as blues it definitely is a bit more salty and tangy it's to me it just has like a nice depiction of sea salt i can't even really explain it but it does it does a really good job at taking you mentally there to uh ocean you know salted ocean like it, it gives you that let's go ahead and try some on Give it a couple of pats. Just a really, cause some scents don't know how to dance. Um, that'd be my thing is, give me a scent that can dance a little bit. I understand that some scents may be linear and it's gonna present this first, then this, then this. But I like a scent that can dance. Mm. So you get the, you get the warmth immediately. You know, it's a blue scent, but you, you immediately get warmth. You immediately get uh, like some warm, musky notes. You get the citrus as well. It's not a thing of you're getting citrus and then, oh, wait, there's some musk. No, you get all of that immediately. And then it settles into a very lovely skin scent. This has a... Um, the projection on this is pretty good. I'd say it's about a about a medium projection. I get decent. I get a decent amount of compliments on this. Um, this lasts a while. If I spray it like on my chest, uh, fresh out the shower, and I put a shirt on, it'll be on me and in my clothes like the entire the entire day. Uh, there hasn't been a day that I've worn this and I've gotten home and it's like, oh, it's gone. Like, no. If I spray it, like I usually spray here, here, and then I'll dab, dab my wrist on the top of my hand, uh, depending on how much I spray. Like I may do a really good spray, maybe two right here. I'll dab here, I'll dab here, and then I'll come here right under the neck. Um, and that'll be on me all day. Like that's not going anywhere. That's usually how I do mine. And it's, it's never been a day where I'm like, yeah, it's gone. I, I, you know, the sending went away. None of that. It's somewhere on me, whether it's in my clothes, whether it's a nice skin. It's, it settles down into a really nice skin scent. Um, yeah, I, this scent is just beautiful. So this scent comes with uh, grapefruit. Uh, it comes with a little bit of lemon. You get that musk, you get that warm, uh, like amber. You get like this, like a sea salt kind of vibe, uh, like a, salty, a saltiness. I can't really place it. A little bit of juniper. But like my favorite part of these notes is like that saltiness. Like it's not an obvious saltiness, but it's sort of like a 
like this faint tangy saltiness to it that I just love and it gives you that water ocean I can't really place it man it, it gives you that when this bottle is full and that, that frosted bottle the presentation is just amazing when you can actually have that I might post a picture up on it and just show how it looks when it's uh when it's actual full bottle and just the way it's presented I've killed this bottle it's actually time for a new one but um, yeah man that is that is one of my that's one of my all-time favorite ones I love Dolce Gabbana light blue I love the different variations that they've come up with I'll be purchasing uh, they got one swimming in Lapari I'll be purchasing that one I'll be purchasing uh, light blue sun to try that one out because I've never smelled that one and I found it on a couple of sites So I'm gonna be checking those out. There was another one that I tried uh, I wanted to try the lemon lemon nothing lemon Italian zest uh, I was looking for it. I don't think they have it available, but if it becomes available, I'll pick it up But I like their entire light blue line. I think they did a really good job with that particular line uh, Which is why it's it's been successful as it has um, I get a lot of good compliments and a lot of good comments about it whenever I wear it. Uh, my wife loves it. Uh, it's just one of those scents that it can be on you and you're just pleased with it. It's not harsh. You can be heavy handed with it, but you don't need to be. It's uh, maybe two or three sprays. You know, like I said, if you can concentrate it here and then just spread it out, you know, uh, that's that's okay. You don't have to do too much. It's not something that I would want to spray directly on my clothes You can if you don't want to have it on your body, you know, just directly But it's something that I, I kind of dab on me and it it does well you, you will smell it. You will be able to pick up on it That is it for this video you guys. I'll be doing more reviews I got some more scents that uh, that I was able to find in my collection uh, so I'll be doing some some of those. I got some Scentbird uh, subscription colognes that I had that I was going to do some reviews on. Uh, so I'll be talking about those in my later reviews. And I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.